أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم ما بعد. It's critical and imperative that the believer always states the truth. That the believer is not prejudiced by a particular group or sect or madhab or way or methodology but to speak the truth whenever it comes to them from whoever it comes to and this is what we will uh, soon read from the statements of the of the scholars and being truthful and staying away from this kind of prejudice is very important, especially when evidence comes contrary from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the what the Salaf were you you know, had a consensus upon or what the scholars have agreed upon to always hold to the truth even if it goes against your own desires. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who hold fast to the truth. Ibn Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala said, when discussing a hadith that the Prophet sallallahu mentioned uh, in, in part of the hadith, will be da'wi a jahiliya. You know, is the, the... Are you calling to the way of... Uh, the days of ignorance. Ibn Qayyim said, Al Murad bi da'wi al jahiliya, kullu men ta'asib ila al madhab, o ta'asib ila kabila. He said, What is meant by the way of the days of ignorance is anyone who calls or who is prejudiced and adheres firmly to their tribal ways or the, their tribe or their methodology, their madhab, you know, their way. The way of a particular group or sect or their madhab in fiqh. So they hold on to that instead of going with what is in accordance with the evidences from the Qur'an and the Sunnah. This is something incredibly important for us to beware of. <clears throat> and Sheikh Salih bin Fulzan mentioned and related to this. He said, Hafidhullah Ta'ala in his explanation of Kitab al-Tawheed, he said, وَالْوَاجِبَ Muslim, أَنْ يَتَّبَعَ الْحَقْ سَوَا كَانَ مَا الْإِمَامِهِ أو مع غيره وسوى كان مع قبيلته أو مع غيرها والله سبحانه وتعالى يقول يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين بالقسط شهداء لله ولو على أنفسكم أو الوالدين والأقربين the Shaykh said that it is an obligation upon the Muslim, an obligation upon every Muslim, that they should follow the truth regardless if it is with their imam or their leader, their prayer leader, their imam in general, their, their leader, the Muslims, or what have you, or with other than them, or if it is with their tribe, or it is if the truth differs with the opinion of their tribe. And Allah the Almighty, the Allah the Most Glorified says, O you who believe, be of those who are just and witnesses for Allah, even if it is on your, against yourself or your parents or your near your kinfolk this shows us that when the truth no matter no matter what even if the truth goes against us we have to adhere to the truth 
Even if it goes the truth, if the, even if the truth goes against our family, we have to hold to the truth. Even if the whole the truth goes against our tribe, and our uh, the way that we ascribe to, that we have to go with the truth. We have to go with that which is in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That is the haq. That is the truth. So it is not for us to go against that. Then the Shaykh went on to say, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, فَلَا تَجُوز الْعَصَبِيَ لِلْمَذَاهِبِ وَلَا تَجُوز الْعَصَبِيَ لِلْأَشْخَاصِ وَلَا تَجُوز الْعَصَبِيَ لِلْقَبَائِلِ وَإِنَّمَا الْمُسْلِمِ يَتْبَعُ الْحَقِّ مَعَ مَنْ كَانْ وَلَا يَتَعَصِبْ وَلَا يَتْرَقَ الْحَقِّ الَّذِي مَعَ خَصْمُهُ مَعَ خَصْمِهِ فَالْمُسْلِمْ يُدُورْ مَعَ الْحَقِّ أَيْنَمَا كَانْ سوى سوى كان في مذهبه أو مع إمامه أو مع قبيلته أو حتى مع عدوه ورجوع إلى الحق خير من تمادي في الباطل والله تعالى يقول وإذا قلت فعدلوا ولو كان ذو القربة والنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل الحق وَلَوْ كَانَ مُرْرٍ The Shaykh went on to say some very, very be- beautiful and beneficial speech for us to benefit from. And he said, حَفِظَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى Shaykh Salih bin Fuzan He said, it's not permissible to be prejudiced you know, blind following and being prejudiced towards your, your madhab you know, your methodology of fiqh or methodology of understanding the religion and generally, you know, if it is not in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, you know, to just blindly follow an opinion that goes against the evidences of the truth uh, of the Quran and the Sunnah or the truth in general as it's being presented it is not permissible and he said it's not permissible to blindly follow and uh, to blindly follow or be prejudiced and follow blindly personalities. Again, this is incredibly important because we suffer in general as a community from the concept of hizbiya, the concept of partisanship to individuals, to uh, scholars, to um, you know our uh, a particular methodology. But we can't blind follow anyone except for the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because everyone makes a mistake, and everyone's statement can be refuted if it is not in accordance with the haq. Everyone makes mistakes. Kulu ibn Adam khata, khata, wa khayran khata ina tawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of those is those who repent, turn in repentance to Allah subhanahu wa taala. So that shows us all, all of us, all of us make mistakes. Even if the person, even if the individual is known for their, um, their humbleness and piety, even if they're known for their piety and their scholarship, they're a person of knowledge, a student of knowledge, a, 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 a scholar, a great scholar. We can't blind follow them in everything they, they write or everything they say, if it, if especially anything that contradicts the truth. We can't follow it. وَلَا تَجُوزْ عَصَبِي لِلْقَبَائِلِ And it's not permissible to blindly follow or have prejudice towards one's tribe. Because the Muslim must follow the truth wherever it comes from. And he does not blindly follow or he does not uh, become prejudiced in his discernment of the truth. And he does not leave the truth even when he's in argument, even when he's arguing with someone. The Muslim, he goes with the truth wherever it comes from and wherever it is. Even if it's in accordance with his, his uh, methodology that he follows in, in fiqh, his madhab or with his, 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 his leader, or with his tribe, or even with his enemy, 
even with his enemy. Very important. This is a statement of Sheikh Salih bin Fazan. Qala Sheikh, O hatta ma'al aduihi. This is what the Sheikh said. He said, or even with his enemy. If the enemy, if your enemy, someone who hates you, someone who despises you, someone who wants to kill you, someone who has enmity between you and him or her, if the truth is with them in this particular issue, you have to go with the truth. You cannot di deny the truth just because you dislike them. And he said, and returning to the truth is better than being persistent on falsehood. And Allah the Almighty says, and if you say, uh, be just, even if, you know, it, even if it is with your uh, close of kin. And the Prophet wasallam said, Say the truth, even if it is sour. Say the truth, even if it is sour. So hold on to the truth. This is an invitation, and this is advice from myself to myself, and from myself to those who are listening, that we have to stand firm for the truth, that it's not about being with a particular group, or it's not about being with a particular scholar, or it's not about anything except for being with the evidence of the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, and in accordance with the madhab of the Salaf Salih. That is what we are ordered to adhere to. That doesn't take anything away from our scholars, or anything away from the students of knowledge, or those people, because they are the best from amongst us. But we have to know we can't blind follow anyone. That is what is imperative. That's the shahid here, that we have to follow the truth wherever it comes. So if you even find a mistake that even an alim makes, you cannot follow him in that mistake. But you have to follow the haq. If another scholar makes clear that that, that scholar has made a mistake and he brings the evidence for that, we go with the evidence. We go with the strongest evidence. This is our methodology. This is our minhaj. This is our madhab. This is the madhab of Ahl Sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq in all that we do. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.